Uh, New Arctic Scholars Initiative is the uh, first of its kind program that brings together uh, sailors and scholars from Arctic nations together uh, for one year to study and report on important questions uh, asked by our heads of Navy and the many people who care deeply about the future of the Arctic. This is the opening seminar of the second New Arctic Scholars Initiative and uh, our focus this year, uh, unlike last year, we ended up creating uh, over 30 principles of Arctic security in the areas of uh, awareness, confidence building measures, and capabilities. And what we found after, after hearing from our heads of Navy was there's a need to focus on some of the cooperative security frameworks. And so that's our charge uh, this year is to explore uh, current and potentially proposed new frameworks to enhance cooperation, security cooperation, to prevent conflict, and to maintain open dialogue among navies and nations in the Arctic. If you think about it, the last two decades, 50% of the ice pack in the Arctic has disappeared. Uh, opening up for new uh, communication ways, exploration, exploitation, but also competition. So if you think globally, great power competition with the United States, China and Russia has also moved into the Arctic. So this, this group is looking into how can we uh, re-establish a dialogue in the Arctic? How can we as neighbors uh, talk about security interest that affects us all? And so um, that is the purpose of, of this group, uh, to look at confidence building measures for the future of Arctic. The benefit of having so many Arctic scholars uh, sitting together for three days and having time to discuss in depth these issues uh, is, uh, it gives a lot of uh, perspectives which, uh, which you can't find yourself. And um, so I think the, the, the personal benefit for me has been the ability to, to, to exchange ideas and uh, knowledge on, uh, on issues and also to try to come up with new and innovative solutions to, uh, to, to, co to complex problems. And, uh, that is that is very been very useful here. I think this issue is so important because in many ways it's um, you know the future is now and so for a long time people have been thinking about climate change particularly in the Arctic being a game changer or uh, creating new sets of concerns challenges threats sometimes opportunities too um, and that future is here you know we don't need to talk about that in abstract terms that's not something that's coming down the road that's the world we're living in right now. And it's only, you know, the way in which climate change is playing out in this one region of the world. But in many ways, uh, the Arctic is the most susceptible region in the world to climate change. So it's kind of happening there soonest. Uh, but this is a global issue, obviously. So I think that uh, the Arctic becomes a really important test case for how states and non-state actors are going to respond to these kinds of questions. The climate change is, is pushing front and center.